Oh. Hello, ho, ho, potato, and Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. The presents have been opened. The stockings have been emptied. All the shopping is over. The stress is over. It's time now for the most important of holiday traditions. And that is, of course, Christmas tacos. Deadpool on a Deer demands it, and we must do it, because Christmas tacos are an important Christmas tradition. Some might say they're the reason for the season. Now, normally, for Christmas tacos, we just go to Jack in the Box, because uh, Taco Bell and uh, Jim Boys aren't open on Christmas Day. But then earlier this month, uh, towards the beginning of December, I saw a news story that said that Jack in the Box had bought Del Taco. Now, I don't think I've ever had Del Taco food. Like, I've driven past them for the last 25 years, probably, but I don't think I've ever actually had a Del Taco taco. So I figured, with Jack buying up Del, we needed to have a face-off. We needed to see how they stack up to each other, kind of a couple years ago when I tried the uh, Burger King taco. So today, for Christmas tacos, we're gonna have a face-off between Jack in the Box and Del Taco Tacos. So first, of course, we need to actually take a look at them. Let's see what we get. So I've bought two of each. Of course, you know, Jack in the Box is our known quantity here. It's also upside down, which is unfortunate. Here we go. Jack in the Box, yeah, we know Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box tacos. For those who are fans of Jack in the Box tacos, we know these frankly barely qualify as food. They're like, they're deep fried, like wet dog food inside. Instead of shredded cheese, we have an actual like slice of the cheese they put on the burgers, which the meat seems to be stuck to. They look really just truly unpleasant, but they're also really quite good. Anybody who's ever had a Jack in the Box taco will tell you there's nothing quite like them for better or for worse. But yeah, looking at it, I mean, it's it's like kind of limp and soggy. I mean, to be fair, you know, they've, they've gotten a little, little cooled off on the trip back home. And then here we have a Jim Boy's taco, which unfortunately also doesn't. It says promo on it. I don't know why. I just ordered two seasoned beef tacos. So I have no idea what the promo here is. They wrap them up a little bit more like Taco Bell, I see. And, ooh, they're tiny. That's a tiny taco. I mean, that's not like, not like one of those Jack in the Box tiny tacos, but that is certainly smaller then it's uh, Jack in the Box Brethren here, and smaller than a uh, Taco Bell one as well. It looks a little more like a Taco Bell one though. It's got some actual meat in the bottom, shredded cheese, lettuce. I've also got sauce from each so we can compare. Of course, you know, I quite like the Jack in the Box sauce. I've never tried the Del Taco sauce. Whether well, I've ever tried Del Taco, I can guarantee you I've never tried the sauce. So let's uh, do a taste test of them plain first. Just for control, our good old standard for Christmas, Jack. Yep, that's your normal Jack in the Box taco. A little tiny bit of heat of the sauce that already comes in it. I do normally add a packet of sauce to it. Uh, the meat flavor is interesting, not super like spiced or anything, which is I guess why they put the red sauce on it. You have a nice corn flavor out of the uh, shell, especially the crunchy bits, and it's got, the crunchy bits are quite crunchy. The oily, soggy bit, not so much. All right, let's try our Del Taco, and I guess, I guess this is what I said the menu is a snack taco, or rather, if a snack taco is smaller than this, then that's, that's a tiny taco. Let's give it a try. Definitely a crisper shell, not soggy, not as greasy, but is it as good? Very similar to a Taco Bell taco, but the meat's not as, I think, as, as uh, well seasoned as Taco Bell does. You getting maybe a little bit, tiniest, tiniest bit of heat out of it, but that can be residual from that. There's an interesting aroma, like, left in my nose. Something like a, like a light green. Like, almost like maybe there's like a, like a, the tiniest bit of cilantro in there, maybe. 
Not bad. I think I think I would probably choose uh, Jack though. You know, they also have Dodaco's doing a thing now. They have uh, they have tamales. Now that oh, I'll get some tamales and we'll we'll try those too. You know, they're not Christmas tacos, but we can try some tamales. And I get to the drive-thru, and I ask for tamales, and the gentleman says, we're not currently serving tamales. Now, I'm not sure if that means they don't have any to sell, or they're just not selling them right now. I have no idea. But maybe, maybe Del Taco tamales, something we'll circle back on in the future. This isn't bad. It might go into the rotation of fast food. But let's check the sauces. So let's try our... Just do a finger full just to try it on its own. For control, the good old standard Taco Bell. It smells almost a little vinegary. Is it a vinegar based one? Water, tomato paste, yep, yeah, vinegar, that's why. I've never looked at the ingredients before. I've never really noticed it being vinegary, but it's, I can smell it. But I never really tasted it. I still, maybe because of the tomato. Maybe there's enough tomato in there that it drowns out enough of the vinegar for me. What's our Del Inferno sauce? Three fires hot, whatever that means. Water, tomato paste, distilled vinegar. So the ingredients are very similar. What is the taste like? I figure you should try these things before Jack in the Box has influence and perhaps makes their tacos look like their tacos. Well, it looks about the same. Maybe, maybe a little tiny bit darker. Smells about the same, a little vinegary. That one's actually a, actually a little bit hotter, but more vinegary too. It's not bad. I don't normally like vinegary sauces, but that's not bad. Let's put it on the taco and try it out. Okay, if you've been watching this channel for a while, I did an advent calendar a couple years back with some vinegar-based hot sauces in it. And you know what? Those sauces never did get used because they were just too vinegary. Even, even the semi-decent one was still it was just too vinegary for me. And I didn't open that enough. Let's try it again. Now I've got stuff all over my hands. And I don't think I have any napkins. That's unfortunate. All right. They're all sauced up. Let's try our Christmas tacos with sauce. You know, really, if I drink more or did like illicit substances, those are probably really good when under the influence. They're still pretty good. I mean, they're not Jim Boys. Jim Boys is kind of, I think, the high point of fast food tacos. Just, just for reference, if you uh, weren't sure. So let's try this with its sauce. Not as good with the sauce. I, I like the extra heat, but the vinegary is overrides the flavor of like everything else there. All I really tasted was hot sauce. I had the texture of the taco, but no, no real flavor from it. But I do like the amount of heat I'm getting off this. That actually is giving me still a strong, well, not super strong, but a reasonably strong burn on my tongue. Certainly more so than a packet of that does. Yeah, not bad. I don't know that Del Taco will become my go-to for Christmas tacos. I think Jack in the Box is probably gonna stay there. But maybe just, you know, if you're by a Del Taco, maybe then I would uh, I would stop and try some other stuff. And I said, maybe we'll circle back and try the tamales if I can ever actually find a time when they are serving them. Well, that about wraps up. I'm gonna go crack myself open a nice can of gingerbread snapped Mountain Dew, eat my Christmas tacos, and enjoy the rest of my holiday. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday. I do thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and a Merry Christmas to you.